Hey everybody, welcome back to DIY Boomboxes in Texas. My name is still your host, and look what we have here. Here's that one I was telling you guys about. You saw the last video with the holes were just cut out. Well, now it's finished. This is a 40 millimeter ammo box, and I did repaint it. Uh, the reason I did that because you had these cross braces that went across here, and it left it leaves like a scar. So I went ahead and. Uh, painted that over. They look real good. We got our voltage meter here. This switch here operates our USB port. So my light just went dim. And of course we have two big floodlights on top. I'm not going to turn them on facing the camera because it will destroy my camera. It's so bright. But let me go ahead and turn it to the side here and I'll show you. We have uh, the switch right here. As you can see it lifts up the guard. As you can see, those things are insanely bright. Just close the switch. Now, speaking of which, if you carry this by the handle um, with your right hand, you have a little flashlight right here. And it works really, really good. It's got a lot of light. And speaking of which, let me show you guys in the back. This is an army themed box, as you can see here. Got the Army Star, got the Punisher, looking really cool. We have some lights right here. The reason I put these on the back is see so you have like, let's say you have this on your picnic table or something at night, you have your task lighting or you can sit there and eat to the lights. You don't have these big bright suckers on. These are going to be made to light up a field or something. But right here gives you perfect ambient light for what you want to do. And especially when these are on right here, you can see it would be, it would be real dark back here. So now you have some extra light right there. Hello, Duke. Come on. Duke, you want to be in the video? Come on, kitty kitty. You might actually get a visit from Duke today. Come on, Duke. He's right here. Come on. Come on. There we go. Look who's here. It's Duke. Yay. I haven't seen Mr. Duke in a while. Linus is over there. We saw Linus last time. Hello, Duke. What you think? What's going on here? Anyway, so that, that's what this box is here. Of course, we put the handle on it. As you can see, make it easier to carry it than having to carry it down here. Uh, this is our charging port that we have right here, and your ch uh, charger plugs in, and of course we have the Army Soldier for Life decal right here. Put that on there because it's going to a young man that's getting ready to go in the Army, and this is what they requested. And uh, these are those new kicker speakers, I think they're the CS series, and um, the grills were okay, not my favorite thing. I actually ordered the DS series and they sent me the CS. I think they work pretty good with this box here. Picks up the yellow and the decal. Looks really good. What do you think, Duke? Say hi to everybody. Everybody's been missing you. Yeah, come here. Yeah, Duke's been kind of odd mood lately. That's why I haven't seen him. He looks like he's in a good mood. It's actually very late. It's 1030 at night. I completely forgot. I gotta shoot the video for this box because I'm, I'm delivering this box tomorrow across town after work, and I wanted to go ahead and get the video in real quick and let you guys see it and hear it. This thing is really really loud. Uh, give you some of the specs. I have a 160 times two amplifier. I'm running it at about uh, I believe 26 volts. Um, there's two 10 amp hour deep cycle batteries and they're wired in parallel. Now, that's something you guys all gotta remember very carefully. What that means is you got positive to positive, negative to negative. So you still get 12 volts, but you get double the power. Now, you never want to go positive or negative because that'll give you 24 volts. And that's what, not what you want. Well, I mean, if you wanted to run your system with 24 volts, the problem is your voltmeter here, I think these might go up to 24 volts, but your USB port here is not. It has to be on 12 volts. So that's why I run on 12 volts and I just boost it going to the amplifier. It's uh, fully charged right now. I'm ready to go. And we're going to crank this thing up. What do you think, Duke? I know everybody's been missing Duke. He's been getting a lot of fan mail. Duke's doing all right. Duke is almost nine years old now. I can't believe he's as old. Big as he is. Uh, you saw Duke's story. I've had Duke since he was three weeks old. He was born to a stray cat that uh, wandered up on my porch and uh, he had a brother and sister his brother's name was Prince and his sister's name was Duchess and they've gone on to live with other families because they both are a little bit aggressive and Duke was the calm one so we kept Duke around 
but he's, he's a good cat. He's getting used to Linus, the black cat you saw in the last video, the kitten. Linus is about five months old. He loves to play. He likes to pick on his Uncle Duke. And uh, Duke is a very patient cat, but it, he will get kind of upset and snap at him sometimes. But he's, he's having a good time. It's almost our bed. Actually, he's past our bedtime. I just completely forgot about this. But, yeah, the uh, customer here requested these lights on top of the box. This is a really cool feature you can add to your box, uh, especially if you guys like to sell your boxes. Uh, one thing I'm doing right now, well, not right now, but it's, it's a plan built for the future. I have a guy that's a fisherman. We're actually going to do a some kind of a nautical theme on it. He wants to have one light over here, actually over here, facing the water when he's fishing at night. Another light facing this way. They're not going to be this big. They're going to be about half this size. There goes Linus. Come here, Linus. Oh, I can't catch him. And, uh, but again, these things are insanely bright. They're too bright for the camera. They're actually quite blinding. But uh, they're, they're really, really cool. And this, this is a fun project. It really was. I like putting all these little lights on here. Like I said, that acts like a flashlight. These little pin lights are really very inexpensive. I think you can get, oh, maybe a pack of six or eight of them for about $10. And they're very low voltage. They're LED. And uh, I'll show you here. They work really good. Like I said, I got these here. You can carry the box with a flashlight. So I'm thinking if you, you're going to be out here at night with this box with no light, you know, you want to have a nice flashlight to help you find your way back to your car, so why not use the box as a flashlight? So, anyway, without further ado, let's uh, crank this thing up here and see what happens. Ready to do so much like I said let me give you guys one more view of the back here really really cool like I said there's our ambient light and like I said you see guys if you want to build one of these for 
a barbecue or something. These little lights are fantastic. I mean, look at this lights at the table perfectly. You have your music at night. And again, you can see exactly how bright these things are. It's actually quite ridiculous. Again, I can't show the camera because it would burn the camera out. But uh, anyway, I think this build came out really, really good. This is my second, actually my third uh, 40 millimeter. And I'm really happy with it. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I've got a lot of new subscribers to my channel. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. I try to put out a new video every week. All right, what's up and coming? Well, uh, next project we're working on is going to be about, probably about this size right here. It's going to be turning a Craftsman toolbox into a boom box. What's cool about that is a little storage area on top where you be able to store tools or supplies or heck, you can run a barbecue. Put your barbecue forks and utensils up in there, however you want to do it. Or if you're at a picnic, you put your picnic supplies up in there, your silverware, your napkins, what have you. It's going to be really versatile, very cool. Um, I'm not going to, I'm hopefully, I'm planning on having it done next weekend. So seven days from this video going up, which I'm going to upload this video on a Saturday. Uh, it's a Thursday night right now and I'm shooting this video. So Saturday or Sunday I'll have this one up. So hopefully that seven days from the day you see this one posted, I'll have that one done. I've never done a toolbox like that before. Uh, what it's going to be is it's going to be like a regular toolbox up here, but then it's going to have three drawers. And I've watched a couple of videos, hello Duke, of how to remove the drawers. And what I'm going to do is I'm, I've ordered a piece of diamond plate that you've seen um, on trucks and other things. And I'm going to put a piece of that diamond plate sheet metal here and then, of course, put the speakers and everything. And I'm going to try something new. I've got that 100 watt amplifier I showed you guys in my amplifier video that I did with the control knobs. I'm going to try something different. I'm actually going to try to have the control knobs come through the sheet metal right here in the front. We'll be able to tune the speakers, you know, the volume and the bass and everything without having to open the box up itself because um, the toolbox is going to be pretty much sealed. So you're really not going to have any access to those controls at all. So this could be something new for me. So what I'm going to do is before I cut that sheet metal, um, I'm going to go ahead and get the toolbox tomorrow and start on on a Saturday. And I'm going to get a piece of uh, thin wood, kind of like this right here. This is almost the same thickness as the uh, sheet metal, maybe a little bit thinner. But I'm going to get another piece of wood like this. Now, to show you guys, this is my, my speaker uh, measuring plate here. Uh, if I, I don't know what size hole to drill for a speaker. So I've got a five and a half inch hole and a five and a quarter inch hole. Because even though you might have a six and a half inch speaker, for instance, it doesn't always fit in the same hole. I've actually seen six and a half inch speakers that will fit in this hole. But, like the Polk speakers, you have to drill a larger hole, five and a half inch hole. So that's what I use this for. It's my old gauge to test my speakers to see what size hole I need to drill. Because if you drill your hole too big, you're screwed. So, and there have been instances where I've drilled a hole too small and didn't check the measurement first, get all my painting, and I end up having to start all over. I've done that too. But anyway, I'm going to get a piece of uh, thin piece of wood like this. And go ahead and cut out a template that will fit. What I'm thinking is when I take the drawers out, I'm going to put like a wooden frame on the inside made out of uh, one by one. And I'm trying to figure out how to be able to make that panel come off easily. Um, I did watch a video where a guy used what I called captured threads. And what it is, you drill a hole and you insert or pop rivet it in these actual threads that are captured into the material. And I've, I've seen one before where you drill a small hole and it's got teeth on it where you can hammer it in and then you just have the um, like sto not stove bolts, more like carriage bolts that will kind of screw in there and just come back out where you'll be able to easily remove the panel. Because if I drill into the wood with regular sheet metal screws or anything and um, unscrew it, I'm going to ruin the, the screw hole. So I want something that I can like the stove bolts will screw into our, our uh, carriage bolts and you can screw them in, screw them out. So that's another thing I'm working on. So I've never done anything quite like that before. I'm sure I can do it. And uh, hopefully I'll better show you guys how to do it one day. Once, once I build the first prototype, 
Uh, the next toolbox that I do after that, I'll go ahead and do a video on how to how to put one together, and I'll show you guys how to do that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I don't know if you can see Duke back here. He's having fun. But uh, please subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you to all my subscribers. New videos every week. And thank you guys for all the great comments. And Duke loves all the comments. We've been hearing from people around the country, around the world, who are fans of Duke, fans of me. Now, I just want to say thank you guys so much. And uh, I try to bring you guys some really cool stuff and some how-to videos. So... Uh, Anyway, if you guys have any questions about the lights or the switches or anything, I'd be happy to answer your questions. Um, these lights are really easy to install. They're a little bit tricky, um, but they're not, not too difficult. They really add some, something cool to your build. And especially if you guys out there that are selling your work, trying to make some money like me, that's a, that's a really nice selling feature. So This one's going to be going to the customer tomorrow. Uh, like I said, it's uh, the guy's son's uh, birthday, I believe. But I think he's really going to enjoy it. So, my Duke. Well, hi, Elizabeth. Come here. Well, I was trying to get Elizabeth on camera. You guys have seen Elizabeth before. Come here, Elizabeth. Come here. Let me see if I can get Elizabeth. Come here. Come here. This is Duke's cousin, Elizabeth. Say hi, Elizabeth. She's been on camera before, but not not too often. So she's a she's almost ten. She's a year older than Duke. She was a year old when Duke was born. So she helped raise him. But uh, she's she's a fussy one. She's uh, what we call the mouth around here. Right, Elizabeth? Come here. Hope you guys like my cats. Let me see. Let me get Linus up here. There's Linus. You guys saw him in the last video. Look how big he's getting. He's five months old. He's almost as big as Elizabeth. Is that amazing or what? He's going to be bigger than Duke, I think. I mean, look at his long tail. You have a good day, Elizabeth? Where you go to sleep? Hi, Linus. I love my cats. I've loved cats since I was a kid. I guess I grew up because my parents loved cats, and it's always been a cat family. And these are my kids. So uh, Linus is real laid back. He's kind of like Duke Elizabeth, just kind of does her own thing. So everybody, thank you so much for watching. For Duke, Elizabeth, and Linus, thank you all for watching. Hope you guys like my cats and uh, my builds, and we'll see you next time.